What is up everyone? Welcome back to Base Damage. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a 8 standby uh, slime deck featuring the Drago Buster Millum set up with the level 3 right here and this particular uh, event down here, Drago Buster. And we're going to go over each of the cards in a second, but this isn't going to be so much as like a, a full-on deck profile as it's more like a proof of concept uh, because by about the time this video comes out, it's only going to be a month before uh, volume three drops. And volume three has some other really, really good cards. It's gonna have, there's a level two Benny Maru that also works off of a standby, which will probably just straight up end up replacing this Benny Maru that I'm using the other uh, standby trigger for in here, uh, this one, new power. Uh, and the other, there was like two other standby uh, cards in the, or there was at least one other. There's like a, uh, the other, the other standby combos between volume one and volume two. I just didn't care for as much, just personally. Uh, but then I also saw that like the level two was coming out for volume three, and I was like, oh, we'll just go with that, and I'll just kind of work on a proof of concept thing. So I'm more just going to go over like the choices that I currently have, and then there's obviously going to be changes down the road. So eventually, this deck will just get changed up anyway. Uh, the only thing I couldn't include from the initial test building list on the simulator was a level zero millum, which I'll show on screen right now, but it's like, it's stupidly expensive. It's a, uh, it's a runner, if I remember correctly, that is like $16 or so. It, it's like really stupid expensive. I would have loved to have been able to include it, but we had to change up some stuff because I just couldn't, like all of the other cards in here are very cheap and I couldn't really uh, like... Yeah, one, I can't afford those. I can't pick those up. <laughs> I've picked up every other card in this deck right here. This is this is exactly what I have IRL right now. So I have a deck box to the side that has this exact deck in here. So let's go over the deck. And the main draw of this deck was being able to utilize this event right here, Drago Buster. It is a level three, five cost event. It says if you have a, if you have a character with Millum in its card name, which most of the deck is Millum, your opponent reveals seven cards from the top of their deck, shuffles their deck, and then puts X cards from the top of their deck into their clock. X is equal to the number of climaxes you reveal. Now, I'm going to read one of those lines again. It says just put X cards from the top of the deck into their clock. It is not damage. It is guaranteed to stick. So even if they reveal climaxes, it doesn't get canceled. It's not damage per se. It's just an effect that says you place these cards into your clock. It's like clock shoot from like level three reverse combos. So without having to do, you know, reversing and stuff like that. It just is, it's completely and totally dependent on how many climaxes get revealed. Now, the big thing is this five stock is a very hefty cost. So I made a level three for that. <laughs> Drago Buster Millum is a 3 2 9k. If all of your characters are demon continent, this gains 2k, so it's a constant 11. The entire deck is demon continent. When this is placed on stage from hand, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room, so heal on play as well. But typically, you're going to be trying to stand by this in. Uh, it says, when recently learned restraint, which is this particular uh, standby trigger right here, go back to it, uh, it gets two abilities. Now, you can't use both of the abilities at the same time. One is an on-reverse effect, and one is if you direct attack. So basically, there's a way you can do you can try to do a combo effect, whether you are attacking a character to try to reverse them, or you are direct attacking your opponent. So, so if you direct attack, you can pay two stock to burn for two damage, which is still very nice because then she still does her own damage. But here's the big thing. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may pay two stock. If you do, choose up to one Drago Buster, that event we just showed, and if the level and color requirements are fulfilled, which the entire deck is red, you're gonna be doing this at level three. Obviously, you're not gonna be trying to stand by this in and do early shenanigans at level two. Uh, you may play that Drago Buster event without paying the five stock cost. So as long as you're level three, you can do this. It's crazy. So if you end up like early playing, say the Benny Maru, you can do its climax combo to do some stuff, but you can't early cast the event at level two. You can only do it at level three, but all you have to do is, is reverse with this and you only pay two stock 
and then you get to cast this from your hand without paying the five stock. Because you, you basically end up paying a reduced cost, quote unquote, because you have to reverse and you still pay like two stock, which is, but is very, very easy to do so. So honestly, this combo right here is what made me want to make this entire deck and make you know something pertaining to this because I just thought it was hilarious to be able to do guaranteed damage for a much re for a way reduced cost in a standby build of all things because I just fucking love standby in general. So obviously you run four copies of Drago Buster Melon, just guaranteed. There's a lot of level threes in here. So let's start back with this one. We have this 3295 Dragonoid Melon. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a demon continent character, you can deal a damage to your opponent. Pretty cool. When your other demon continent, demon continent character attacks, this gets a thousand power to end a turn. And when this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you can pay three stock to clock shoot that character. So you can send that character to your opponent's clock. There's a lot of awesome guaranteed damage in this deck. So two copies of that. Two copies of Full of Smiles Shuna. I ended up ordering more copies of these just because but it is a very easy early play condition is if you have four more demon continents, it gets minus a level in hand. When this is placed on stage from hand, you can heal one as well. So this and the other level three Drago Buster heal. And when this is placed on stage from hand, if you have another demon continent, it gains an extra 2k power till the end of your opponent's next turn. So for at least your turn, the duration of the turn she's played and for your opponent's next turn, she is a 10, five. So it's pretty cool. This next one is very fun. So typically, when you at level three and you have the Drago Buster Mill amount and you play the uh, the standby, you have to be able to summon something. Typically, you're going to be summoning this three two uh, for everyone's sake. Shuna, all of your characters in front of this get two K power. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may choose a Demon Continent character in your waiting room, return it to your hand. So on play Salvage, and a tap this. Look at up to two cards from the top of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order. So the rearranging is pretty cool, but the biggest thing is the two K buff because this still gets really big you have to reverse but standbys don't give a buff so you're typically <laughs> playing the standby to put this shuna onto the field behind her to get this buffed up to a 13k so minimum 13k before anything else typically is what's going to go on for that then we have two copies of power of a kijin binimaru is a 3 2 10k when the battle opponent becomes reversed if new power which is the other uh standby trigger deal four damage to your opponent nice Choose one of your characters, and that character gets plus one soul to end of turn. So trying to push for a little bit more damage, maybe you got like a, a weaker character or something onto the side. But being able to give you on reverse, try to burn for four, is just no other cost whatsoever. Just really nice. You can typically pull this off at like level two or something and do some burn shenanigans. But like I said, this is probably going to get dropped for the other level two Benimaru coming out because it is a better standby combo. But this is still really good for what it is right now. Uh, that is it for the level threes. So onto the level twos, we have this two two six five. Leave it to me, Millum. This card gets two k power for each of your other demon continent characters in your back stage. So you do have to be a little bit wary on that, making certain that you do have characters in the back row. But if you have both of them filled, uh, it's a, she's a ten five. When this card attacks, look at the top card of your deck and put it on top of your deck or into your waiting room. This is really good, and just being able to go, like, oh, I. Top check, it's a level three target I would love to be able to stand by in. Let me go ahead and send it to the waiting room type thing. Or if you see, oh, there's a standby, let's put it right back on top. We know not to worry about it and go and do some standby shenanigans. Or maybe you don't want a standby stuck in your uh, stock for whatever reason, it's whatever. So this is really good. I would very much consider bumping this up to like four or something, but three has been working out pretty well, especially because you can like early play this level three Shuna and everything, so it's whatever. Uh, then two copy or sorry i had two copies i've dropped it down to one uh one copy of victory celebration benny is a two one it's a 3k backup when you use this card's backup choose one of your characters in battle and that character gets the following ability until end of turn when the battle opponent becomes reversed you may put that character into your opponent's memory just neat little memory kick for a 3k backup i thought it was a 25 the first time i read it and i was like wait that says 3000 so, pretty cool Onto the level ones, which once again, stuff may get shifted around at level uh, for the level ones and whatnot when the next set comes out. But for right now, we have three copies of this one one. It's a 5,500 black lightning Rimuru. It gets 500 power for each of your other demon continent characters. So full field makes them a seven five with character encore. So really cool. I have to be a bit more mindful now with like reading the care, the encores on some of this. I was reading, a uh, it was a Miko from a uh, hall live the other day. I was like, it says it says character encore, but you send it from waiting room to your clock, not hand to waiting room or some shit. And I was like, 
or it was a, it was a clock on core, but it's, it brought it from waiting room. I was like, wait a minute. Is this right? I had to like double check it. So I had to be very careful. I, I can't go on autopilot for that stuff now. Then I had two copies of this, but I dropped it down uh, to this one, one capable lady. Shuna is a two K backup. When you use this card's backup, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a demon continent, put it in your hand and then discard one card. So we get a little hand filtering. Three copies of this Summoning Call Binimaru is a 104k. It gets 500 power for each of your other Demon Continent characters. So it can become like a 106k. It can be like pretty sizable. But this has another neat little thing. If your opponent is trying to get over some of your bigger stuff that you've played, some of your standby targets, they're like, oh, I'm just able to get over this. When your other Demon Continent character is frontal attacked, you can discard one card and put this card into your waiting room. If you do, choose one of your characters in battle and it gets 3k power till end of turn. Also, in case your opponent uses something like uh, a character that says your opponent cannot use events or backup from hand during this card's battle. This doesn't count as a backup, but it still gives a buff. So this has been a neat little thing. It doesn't come up but so much, but it, it has come up before. So I'm just, once again, may end up getting dropped altogether. But for now, it's interesting little card to tech in. Uh, then we have four copies, which I did have fewer, but I bumped it up to four because the other effect appeared. This is a brainstorm. It's a 00500 meditating question mark millum. But first off, it has it has an act ability. If you have another, if you have Drago Buster Millum on the field, uh, you can pay the cost, which is put a card from your hand to the waiting room and sack this card. Look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, choose one card amongst them, put it into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. So this does two things. One, it lets you dig to try to either get the climax, as long as you have Drago Buster Millum on the field. Either try to get the climax or to try to get the event for casting for the climax combo. So it really just depends on what you need at the time, but it lets you try to dig because there's no stock cost involved. It's just hand cost. So, which you still get any card. So that's that's one reason why it's just really useful. It's also a brainstormer. It's a pay one rest this mill four for each climax uh, salvage back a character. Just really good to have it in general for the milling purposes and the milling millum. Uh, but then also being able to try to dig down a couple cards because the Draco Buster does heal, but it doesn't like dig or anything. So you can do that to try to try to get towards your combo pieces. Four copies of that and two copies of Radiant Smile Millum. Just a typical uh, on play is a 0025 on play. Pay one pitch one search your deck for a demon continent. Really good. Just a nice standard little uh, drop searcher. Four copies of this Towards the Dwelling of Spirits Rimuru. It's a 002k. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, look at the top card of your deck, put it on top of your deck or into your waiting room. Once again, on play, you can do this to like check to see, oh, here's a, a level two or a level one standby target I would love to be able to summon. Let me go ahead and pop that to the waiting room and be done. When your climax is placed in your climax area, you can return this card to your hand. If you do, choose one of your characters and that character gets 2k power for the turn. It's actually a very significant buff there. Uh, so being able to you know, have this in the back row, uh, play your standby, bounce it back to hand and buff something in the front row. Then you have an open space to be able to summon something there with your standby trigger. So there you go. Uh, I had to bump this up to four because once again, I could not get the level zero millums. Uh, the, the one I talked about before at the beginning of the video. So I had to just bump this up to four for the hell of it. So it's just kind of taking the place. It's also like a 2k body. So it kind of does some stuff at level zero. Uh, but also, I'm not worried about being at level zero for too terribly long. Next, we have the 002k Shuna watching over. When it's placed on stage from hand, put the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room. If there is a level zero or lower character amongst those, this card does uh, soul does not decrease by side, side attacking until the end of the turn. A little bit extra mill uh, for being able to set up cards into your waiting room, be able to you know get your standbys off and everything. Uh, also, just being able to make it so if you do do that and you're able to like side, you know, just have a body on field and still poke for some damage. When this is placed in stage from hand, you can pay one and pitch one, choose one demon continent character in your waiting room, return it to your hand. Then you choose one of your other demon continent characters on the field, and that character gets a thousand power to end of turn. A little bit extra buffing, even though you don't really need it but so much, but it's there. It's kind of a neat little thing. And we have three copies of Victory Celebration Kurobe is a 001k it's a 500 assist in front uh and it is has an act ability look at up to four cards from the top of your deck choose up to one demon continent character from amongst them reveal it to your opponent put it into your hand put the rest into your waiting room the cost being to rest this card and discard an event from hand to waiting room so if you have excessive amounts of uh the uh the drago buster in hand 
it's a neat little thing to be able to do that. Just, you know, oh, I'm sitting with like, you know, two or three copies. Let me pitch one because you're, you're typically not going to get off more than like one or two Drago Busters at level three when you do this. But if you're able to get like enough off, it, it works. But it, so it's just a neat little thing just to have extra to be able to mill and get to the cards that you do need. So a neat little thing just to mill for and everything. And that is it for the level zeros. Obviously, we already talked about the Drago Buster, the main reason I wanted to build this deck to begin with. Uh, four copies of New Power for the level 3 Benimaru, and four copies of Recently Learned Restraint for the Drago Buster Mill. And like I said, this is just kind of a proof of concept right now. It has been working. Uh, it, I'm still tweaking consistency stuff, and obviously in a month this deck is going to change completely anyway because of the Volume 3 set dropping. I already know of some cards that I'm wanting to grab, and obviously I really want to fix up and touch up the level 0s, so I can easily, I want to be able to have something that I don't need to have that level zero millum for, the, uh, the really expensive one. So I want to be able to have something else that can do that job, like take its place, but still be able to have a lot of the good utility that's in here because you got good brainstormers, drop searchers, uh, being able to pitch cards to mill, being able to uh, drop salvage and just buffing in general. It's really, really good in terms of utility. And those very nice cards that you can put in there because of that. So, uh, but yeah, that's basically going to be it. Like I said, just kind of a proof of concept. I wanted to show off what I've been, what I've been cooking and that'll do for now. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, and subscribe if you want. If not, Hey, thanks for dropping by to check it out. Get excited for volume three dropping very, very soon. And I'm hoping maybe we'll get like a set for like the movie or something when it, uh, that came out, you know, that'd be really cool if we got a set for that or, Maybe something else in the future for Slime. I very much enjoy this, this series as a whole. And with that, we will be signing off. Thank you all very much for watching, and peace out for now.